Okay, as I said, there are many examples showing people helping animals. Here we have two examples. This first one, what do we see? We see a woman helping some kind of animal here. What kind of animal is it? You can read up here. This koala, koala. This koala was rescued from a fire. It is having a drink. So look at how the woman is giving the koala a drink. She's using this. What is that? That is a syringe, and it's used usually when you go to the doctor, you get a shot. Ow! We don't like to see this. Oh, we have bad memory, right? Ow, it hurts. You get a shot. But in this case, she put milk or some kind of healthy drink in the syringe. There's no needle. Whew, no needle. The needle is the sharp point that goes in your skin. There's no needle. So she's just using that to push the liquid into the koala's mouth. So it's a good way to feed the koala. So this koala was rescued from a fire. Oops. There was a fire and the koala was rescued from the fire. But the koala, you know, the uh, his or her home was destroyed, right? So they, they're going to feed the koala and take care of it and find a new home for the koala. Now over here we have another example. Here we can see a man and he is doing, what is he doing to the chimpanzee? Chimpanzee, right? These are chimpanzees. We say chimp for short name, just like rhinoceros, rhino, chimpanzee, chimp. Okay, and look at this is kind of funny because chimpanzees are very similar to us. Chimpanzees are very similar to humans. Uh, they are actually very closely related to. And of course, this chimpanzee is just like any any you know young child, very interested. What's going on? <laughs> right. So this man is helping this chimpanzee, and the chimpanzee's friend is like, mm, I want to see what's going on. Right. Very cute. A vet. So this man is a vet. What is a vet? A vet is short for veterinarian. 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 And a veterinarian is an animal doctor. An easy way, if you can't say veterinarian, if it's no muhimdro to pronounce veterinarian, you can do two things. Just say vet, which is a short name, like rhinoceros, rhino, chimpanzee, chimp, veterinarian, vet, or animal doctor. A vet is checking this chimp's eyes. So he is checking the chimp's eyes to make sure that the chimp is healthy, right? That's what I said before. If you have a pet, you should take it to the animal hospital to make sure that it is healthy. So this vet is caring for these chimps or these chimpanzees. Okay, let's read some more. This is a very cute picture, by the way, before I read. Look at this little guy. He's like, ooh, that tickles. <laughs> tickles is tickle is when you scratch somebody or you 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 touch their stomach and you and you with your fingers like this and you tickle them. <laughs> Kanjiro, right? Uh, okay. Some people help baby animals that have no parents. Oma, opa. Opsayo, right? They have no parents. Very sad situation. So maybe this animal doesn't have any parents. They feed the babies. They play with them. They keep them safe. They do three things. They feed the babies. They play with them. Maybe they're playing or cleaning. And they keep them safe, right? In this case, we can see this baby lemur. This is a type of animal, a lemur. A lemur is a, is a small animal that lives in the jungle and they live in the trees and they climb on the trees with their hands, right? And they're very cute. Nomu, nomu, kiyapchi, right? They're very cute. And look, they're using a toothbrush to clean it. Of course, he's probably, he likes it, <laughs> right? He's like, yay! Oh, very funny. A toothbrush is the right size for the job. A toothbrush is very small for us. But the toothbrush is very big for the lemur. So it's the right size for the job. The right size for the job. You want the right tool for the job. In this case, the toothbrush is the right size for the job. Okay, so these, this is what people do for animals that have no parents. They feed babies, they play with them, they keep them safe. 
and this baby lemur has no parents, so this person is brushing the lemur and uh, cleaning them, taking care of it. Okay. Here's another couple of examples. In this picture, what do we see? We see a baby squirrel, a baby squirrel. And again, we see the syringe being used to feed the squirrel. So that's a very common way to feed a baby animal. You take the syringe and you put milk or some healthy liquid in there and you put it back and then you can push it and the liquid comes out the other end and it's like you're slowly, not fast because you don't want to, you don't want to hurt the animal, but slowly and the animal can, they can drink from there. That's very, very cute. So a baby squirrel is being fed. It needs a special milk drink. Not just plain milk from a cow, but a special milk drink. There are other things in the milk that the animal doctor or the vet puts in there, maybe some vitamins or something, that the squirrel needs. So that's this example here. In this example, what do we see? We see an elephant, right? And we see a woman playing with the elephant, right? She's playing with the trunk or the nose of the elephant. These young elephants have no parents. So this elephant doesn't have a father or mother. They, they, maybe, maybe they died. This woman takes care of them, right? There's two elephants. She feeds them. She also plays with them. And we can see that in this picture, that the woman is playing with the elephants. And the elephants are happy. They like it, of course. So they like to play. All animals like to play and to feel safe and to be fed, right? And that's interesting. That's very good. And that's what these people, that's what these two people are doing for the animals that they are caring for. Okay, well, let's take a, sh uh, let's end this part of the lesson here. We'll take a break and we'll see you next time.